night plowing. Welcome to Elk Creek Acres. Well, here we are. Back at it again. Car coming. Gotta look for traffic. Safety first. Of course. Truth is, they better look for me. <clears throat> that work light, that light bar, I can only imagine what that looks like to somebody coming at me. So let me, uh, let me clarify a few more things from the other day when I said I, how much better I like the push. I don't seem to, because you guys notice in my videos, I, I do a pretty good chunk of the yard. Uh, you know, one, so my wife and I <clears throat> can get to the chicken houses, and two, for the dogs, to give the dogs room to run. Because like I said, you know, Dixie, our black dog, I told you before, she just got way too much energy to be a house dog. So, I try to give her as much room outside as I can. And the thing I noticed right away with the snow push is I don't scalp the lawn as bad as I did with the plow. And I attribute that to the fact that the, the shoes are actually in front of the cutting edge. So when they hit a high spot, you know, they'll raise up where the plow, the cutting edge would hit the high spot first. So that right away was a big plus to me because of the amount of actual plowing on the grass that I do. And I noticed, and I've heard other people say this too, especially people that are somewhat new to a snow push, It's just faster with the push than it was with the plow. And I attribute that to, you know, like I said the other day, you don't have anything spilling out over the sides. Everything stays pretty well contained, you know, unless you're plowing feet of snow. But I've done, I've done, oh, 10 or 12 inches with the push and never, never had a problem with it coming out of the box. And why, yeah, I, I'd love to have a 72 inch snow push with this tractor, but
but I don't think it's, it's in the cards to try to sell this one and buy another one. This one still gets the job done. I might be able to do it a little bit quicker with a 72, but it's not a race. And as you guys saw the other day, you know, it only took me 30 minutes. tell you guys I don't like plowing in the dark. I mean, once in a while, like I said before, on a familiar property, you can still find things, strangely enough. But the biggest thing, really, I don't like about it is I just never do as clean of a job in the dark. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. But <coughs> I would prefer to do it in the daylight. Okay, here's another thing I noticed when I got the pusher. Uh, with the plow, I almost really could never use float unless I was just straight blade, you know, pushing, cleaning up the piles. I could really never use float with the plow. And with the push, that was another thing I noticed right off the bat is I can float a lot better with the pusher. Oh yeah, let me clarify another thing. It's not... I'm not... I didn't mean to sound like an idiot the other day. The problem with the GoPro 8 battery is when it's cold out, it just dies. And what I was hoping to accomplish by having the cord plugged in was that with the cord plugged in, maybe it would generate just enough warmth in that battery because it's actually charging it. But I was hoping it would generate just enough warmth to keep that battery from, because 
before, well, it varied. It was never the same, but on average, I'd say about five or six minutes is all I could get out of this. And I have, I have since spoken to a couple of people with GoPros, and I've also heard other people complain about the eight and nine, that the battery is just horrible in cold weather. And it made me feel good. At least I wasn't the only one that noticed it. And I did almost buy a nine. I got an old five I was gonna trade because they give you like a hundred bucks trade in. And uh, but then I I heard a couple of other channels talking about the new nine. And how they're having problems with it. Just shutting down or whatever. I don't know. Sometimes you gotta, GoPros are a little bit finicky. But they are a real good vlogging camera. And I think that's why everybody puts up with them. But they do have some quirks. All right, there it is. Um, again, this is a quick nighttime job. I don't like plowing at night just because I never do as neat of a job um, as you can in the daylight. Even with all the lights I've got on the tractor, you just don't see everything as well. But thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you next video. Likely be another round bale, so we'll catch you then. Thanks for watching.